All right, finally, to right here, uh, most people enjoy a good competition, testing their skills against one another in a friendly game of football, baseball, or basketball. But others prefer to go head to head in a more combat oriented experience. Phil Campbell caught up with LARP Pocatello, a live action role playing group, to see what it is that's attracting so many to this often misunderstood sport. <laughs> Live-action role-play first emerged as a popular activity in the 1970s. By the 1980s, LARP could be found all over the world. Today, there are many variations of the sport that fall under the LARP umbrella, and thanks to the Internet, it has never been easier to find people to participate. Well, Facebook has been our, our greatest tool for getting word out, but, uh, but when we first started, we were actually at the, at the midnight release for The Hobbit. And we were all in costume, and we went around to each of the theaters, and especially keyed in on the people that were in costume and said, hey, guess what we're going to be doing? Come join us. LARP Pocatello participates in events throughout the year, and just like in traditional sports, they have to sign waivers, they have a rule book, and they even have uniforms. And if you don't have a uniform, they'll gladly supply you with one. For, for the new players, uh, if, if you don't have any kind of costuming, that's not an issue. While it, uh, it helps with the immersion to be wearing uh, a fancy costume, uh, it's, not, it's not critical. Also, those of us that have been doing this for a long time, we have extras. And I have no issues loaning out, uh, you know, I have a full pirate costume that I would, be gladly, uh, I would gladly loan out to someone if they wanted. LARP Pocatello recently earned a prestigious honor that will allow its members to participate in some of the top events in the Intermountain West. So down in Salt Lake City, Utah, there's a, a group called Mythic Realms, which is a very uh, well-established LARPing group. And they have just given us the go-ahead to become an official branch of their LARP group. This will give LARP Pocatello the ability to meet on a routine basis with the larger group and develop their role-playing skills. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You know, you get to escape from reality for a little bit, do something goofy, be unique, and it's just a nice getaway from everything else. Reporting in Pocatello, Phil Campbell, KPVI News 6. I want a LARP name. Those are pretty cool. <laughs> you can find more information about LARP Pocatello uh, by hitting up this story on our website at kpvi.com. I was there at the midnight premiere when they were recruiting. Oh, yeah? Oh, you yeah. were? Yeah. Okay. I saw they came through, and, and again, you, you targeted. Were you tempted? Yeah, like, it's interesting. I mean, I'm not going to be good, but it's interesting. Right. It's a little something different. It's going to do it for us. We'll see you tonight.